While you got all caught up on Square's IPO filing, you probably missed the levitating light, robot balancing tricks, and the pen that gives you an instrument anywhere. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where my garage band broke up when my sister wouldn't share my star stage. I would have had an awesome Britney umbrella meltdown. Believe it. Believe it. Once again, Japan beats us in the Cool Kid Award with an awesome new instrument for budding musicians. Starryworks Japan made a conductive pen and iOS linked sensor to transform any drawing into a 2D MIDI instrument. You simply draw an image on a sheet of paper, making sure the conductive lines reach the sensor, then select which instrument you want your creation to sound like. Violin, drums, or trumpet, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> The more complex your image, the more sounds the system can create. Or at least that's what we think it does. Nobody in the San Francisco office speaks Japanese. Konnichiwa! That's all I got. Scientists at Carnegie Mellon invented a robot servant that balances on a single spherical wheel, making it much more omnidirectional than its bottom-heavy cousins. That's two strikes, do you know that? Jesus. To move in any direction, it has to lean, and to get there, the ball actually first goes in the opposite direction that it wants to go. They could also be used as helpers for disabled or elderly people, or to fetch and carry objects, which I would be cool with. All you futurists have got to see this thing. It's a light bulb that floats above its base with magnetic levitation. It's called Flight, and as far as we can tell, has only one main drawback. The Kickstarter price was $250, which was already funded, so God knows it'll be way more later. The base is a wireless power module that does have to be plugged in and wirelessly transmits about five volts of electricity to the bulb. Some power is lost with all this transferring and hovering stuff, but any Hogwarts student could tell you that. Oh, well done. See here, everyone. This grade has done it. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because LeVar Burton raised us right. Disney is licensing itself for a new line of $500 branded prosthetics for young amputees. Twitter laid off 336 employees. Apple was found to have violated a University of Wisconsin patent, and that will be expensive. Hubble's 4K images prove Jupiter's great red spot is shrinking. And Tesla claims trespassing journalists attacked gigafactory workers. And we don't know until we see the reports, but that sounds real bad. Try not to get arrested. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye!